What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 4 of Up to Speed. We've got a few topics to talk about today, including the crew beta, car damage in racing games, and, well, drive club. Uh, so we'll get into those. <laughs> I'm here with Martin and Cam again, as you can see at the side as well, with my awesome layout. <clears throat> uh... <laughs> Is that, is that <laughs> taking a dig at me? Because I haven't got a layout yet. I'm no, working no, on it, guys. Honestly. I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. okay. So, uh, what, what we'll do first is uh, talk about the crew bait to kind of wrap up on that because that just finished, which is kind of, an, uh, it's, I don't know, every time a beta finishes for the crew, I'm like, what do I do now? Just, I'm lost because I go back to other games and it's like, it's not the same. I can't do as much and... Even though like we're really limited in the beta, like all we've got is I don't know how many cars is it? Is it eight, ten, something like that? Um, and we uh, you know we kind of, <laughs> we kind of get to about level two hundred of that that uh, car, and then we're just driving around aimlessly doing nothing. But it still feels like we're doing much more than we could do in other games. So it, I don't know. Um, but what what I wanted to talk about is kind of you know wrapping up everything and really saying what I'm, I'm kind of most excited to try as soon as I get on the full game. Um, so I, th I thought I should actually. Uh, Cam, you should go first because um, I've got a lot. <laughs> so the beta, I'll wrap it first. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, the beta overall, I, I, I mainly played the PS4 beta. However, I did play a bit of the Xbox One beta too. Um, overall, I would say I was pretty pleased with the beta. I thought overall they did a pretty good job. Um, the actual handling model um, was a lot better on the PS4 version. It felt a lot smoother, a lot crisper than the older PC versions. However, for some reason on the Xbox One version, it felt a lot more slippery. Uh, that's something you'll notice if you played the two, um, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I thought overall, really good job. Um, in terms of physics and handling, they've really so solved every other problem I had. And I can't really say there was many other issues. Maybe one slight issue for the Xbox One version specifically is it felt like I was being punished for everything I did wrong. Um, but besides that, everything else is pretty good, to be honest. I mean, I, I, there's not anything else to say. It's just great beta. Basically, like, the same as the, 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 same as the other ones. Um, mm. Cracking job, Ivory. Well done. <laughs> right. What I've got to say is I haven't played the beta, but I've watched a lot of footage. In fact, I also watched Cam's. Uh, footage and I noticed that they still haven't integrated uh, what do you call it wheel sizes and dimensions and I really think their customization customization looks really good so far and I really don't want them to slip up on this simple aspect yeah actually you've led they me onto a great topic that's one thing I forgot <laughs> um, customization <laughs> menus they yeah. need to be cleaned it feels yeah. so like just everywhere at the moment when you go into a bumper menu it's got three types of bumpers so, so like you have one with uh, you know, a different type of bumper layout, then one will have a different headlight, and then one will yeah. have a different thing. They need to sort oh, out the menus, because at the moment, it's so messy, and it looks ridiculous. Um, but besides that, yeah. I, th I, I agree with Martin. I want to be able to, you know, change the size of my rims, change the ride height, uh, just just generally make the customization cleaner and add a few more features, which will make everything a bit more personal. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I, I agree with what you said. To be honest. Oh, yeah, and painting the wheels as well. That's another thing yeah, that they didn't add. Because what they've um, done is put black rim, gold rim, silver rim, and yeah, different Yeah, yeah, that spots. is kind of annoying because I, I go onto a page uh, of rims and I swear they've added some since the last beta because I went on one page, it's like 360 types of sports rim or something, however, which one it was. It's like, oh, I'm going to have to go through all exactly, of these. Exactly, like, exactly what like, I mean. There is a lot of them. But where it comes to bumpers, there's about six, nine bumpers a car, which I can kind of understand if it's like, if you just choose to the bumpers like that. But for the rims, I think it should be choose the rim, then the color, because there's like 360 to go through. If you did the math, you can see that there's a lot less rims than that because it's just, you know, color uh, based. But I mean, with bumpers, as I said, as long as there isn't a huge amount, it, it's I think it's fine as it is. What they need to do with um, bumpers is, is they need to make the exhausts and headlights separate. They need to be separate yeah, uh, categories. Yeah. And then what they need to do with the rims is cut down all of the super colours because that just spams the menus and make that accessible in the paint options. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah, I think that's where I was. And they need to buy, add, a, add a vinyl editor and a vinyl marketplace and everything sorted. Best game ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you were saying before, the handling model of the, the Xbox One version felt a bit different. And I, I kind of 
what I did actually to, to the main reason I played that, um, I was wait I was gonna make a video with AR12 because he was gonna do the challenge on that for the week, um, and I, I kind of got on the game, got to level ten, <laughs> and thinking that they'd already got to level ten and stuff to do this challenge, and turns out they actually got to level two, so I kind of wasted <laughs> my time getting to level ten for like something like two hours, um, yeah, but. Yeah, the handling model overall in that game on the Xbox One version felt a bit uh, kind of like a less grippy. Um, I'm not sure if it was mainly to do with the controller difference or if it was because it was actually a later build of the game. Uh, the PlayStation 4 version was like, I can't remember, it was, it ended in 980 and the, the Xbox One version was like 990 or something. So... Mm. I don't, I don't know if that's like they've changed it on the Xbox One because that is the newest build or if it's just because the controls are a bit different. I played around with some of the uh, the controller settings on the game, on the Xbox yeah. One version. Uh, I think I turned down the sensitivity of, of the steering. And that really? seemed to make it... Yeah. I uh, turned mine all the way up. I turned it down on the Xbox One. It seemed to actually make it a lot better for me. Um, but then, obviously... I moved on to the wheel, but I can talk about that later. <laughs> that was like completely <laughs> different. But yeah, there were actually more uh, wheel controls in the Xbox One version as well. So I'm guessing that's because it's a newer build, as I said. But I, I want to know, is the handling model different? If anyone actually played both or played the Xbox One version, did it feel more slided than the last beta if you played that? Because I think they updated the handling model on that one as well. I don't know. It, it just felt a bit... I'm 100% 100% convinced they did. They, they must have changed it because it felt very, very different. Because if it was just you, then I would be like, you just know. It's, it's no. But but it's the fact both of us noticed the difference. Yeah. And I, 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 I definitely noticed the difference. Well, now well. it's like, is it actually just because it's on that controller, that system? But the thing is, is, I played a lot of... actual change? I played um, a lot of games on the 360 and the Xbox One, like racing games. So I'm used to both controllers, as, as, as where I played loads right, yeah. on the PS3 as well. So... That's no, trust me, it's, they have changed it. I, I can definitely tell. But if you guys, you know, have, did notice a difference and you play both, let us know. Yeah, definitely. No um, but yeah, so I, I was going to do a comparison. One thing I actually I need to talk about. Um, I was going to do a comparison of the two because I did notice a graphical difference. Not like huge. There were a few more jaggies on the Xbox One version. It, sometimes you saw dropped frames like a lot more often. Um, but other than that, it was, you know, exactly the same texture-wise and stuff. But um, I completely forgot what I was going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot, like, I, I, I was, I was going to lead on to something. I um, guess I can talk about something yeah, while you're still thinking right, about it. Like, try and think about what I did. Um, well, for the beta, I'm not sure if you guys actually noticed, but if you hovered over um, each specific spec, you could see what the car you, the car you owned looked like in a different spec. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what yeah, I'm on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, that skyline perspective looks <laughs> naughty. <laughs> like, if you like ricing up cars and you like, you know, doing underground two type customization where you can lower the car down, put a big spoiler on it, put a huge white body kit, having the circuit spec is where it's at. I mean, Jesus Christ, I'm going to be using that circuit spec nonstop just because of how the car looks. It looks so nice in circuit spec. That's just something random I wanted to talk about. Yeah. Another, thing, <laughs> another thing is... You can't delete save data. That's what I was going to talk about. Can you, get, you cannot right. reset your profile um, because it's online based. Oh, um, you can delete local beta or uh, local uh, saves on the Xbox One. I know that for a fact. Yeah, it, it's because you connect to the servers, you save data on the cloud, that sort of thing. But which lead, le yeah. leads me to what I was saying on Twitter earlier. If this is the case and it's saved on the cloud and GTA Online characters are saved on the cloud, why can we not play it on all systems now? That's really annoying. Uh, mm. because I, I've got my uh, I would say like I want to play on Xbox One as long as I've bought the game again and I've bought the system why can I not keep my save data it's, it's you know it's a bit stupid because they want you to, they want you to dedicate yourself to a, to a specific console but I mean if you've got it's both you just got then limit yourself to playing one and not buying it on the other so that technically if you allowed them to do that they'd make more money because you'd bother yeah. buying it again if you wanted mm. to play with those friends it's, it's kind of like a bit stupid really but the now ps4 that... would rather have 
loads of people playing on there because their saves were already on there and then going to Xbox and not playing on the PS4. So, wait, are you asking for... Being, wait, you're basically wanting to be able to play with Xbox One friends on a PS4, is that what you're saying? Oh, no, no, no. I can understand oh. why that's not... Yeah, that's, that, that's not going to happen. But, I mean, what I would like is uh, my save data so when I go onto the crew, it'll, work, it'll be on, like, exactly where I was on each system. Oh, yeah. Because... Yeah. So, like, uh, taking your PS Vita and going onto PS4. Yeah. So... Yeah. It, because I mean, it's simple enough. If the if the data is stored on their servers like it is, why can we not do that now? It's it's like it's a bit odd. But anyway, mm. yeah. The main reason I went off the topic there. You can't delete save data. That's what because I wanted to record the intro because it would be very very similar because you know I could just hold accelerate and go the same direction and show you the difference. But yeah, you can't delete save data. So that might be one thing that I find a bit annoying. Uh, say I do eventually want to start again or something. Because with old games, like when you go back to an old game, you want to start again. Usually, you don't want to carry on where you left off. I think that's something they'll patch down the line. Hopefully, because I know it, it's like a, a small thing, but it's it's like uh, it's a necessity at the same time. Yeah, because like everyone needs to have uh, the save. <laughs> like that's just yeah. like standard stuff, you know, expected stuff, I guess. Yeah. Uh, one thing someone tweeted to me earlier. It's uh, I think it's Facil Facil. Uh, three three nine eight. He actually uh, tweeted a picture of the crew to me, and it said, uh, "You know the awards in the crew that you get. It had drive five miles in all forty cars. Only five. forty cars. So that's a bit odd because somebody on the Turbo Duck forums, uh, they've been like working together to put a list together of all the cars they've seen in trailers." And they've seen 62 cars. That must now, be just an error then. There's a few options to this. There's one that's very dark, and I don't want to even think of that even being a possibility. Go on. Um, but I was thinking it could either be... They've added to the list since, you know, um, the, the beta that that picture was taken in or whatever. Uh, there's cars that they just aren't in the beta at the moment or in the game at the moment. Or the darker one. The DLC on this and those DLC. DLC. <laughs> yeah. No. And those DLC. That's that's one thing you just have to worry about because it's still a, there's still a big publisher behind this and they will do something like that if they can. Should so, we uh, go on to the DLC? Um, I, I guess we could talk about that as well. But I mean, hopefully, <laughs> that's not the case. And hopefully, it's just the fact that they added more cars in since because they delayed it for a year, so that would kind of make sense. Yeah. So, that Hopefully that's the way they went, <laughs> and not just that's... made DLC. Sorry. Sorry, can we squeeze in a topic at the end? It's Ubisoft removing their game from Steam. Oh, they actually added them back on. Really? Yeah, uh, they removed them. I don't know why. It was just like Steam in the UK, I think it was for yeah. a bit, and then it went to the I heard US. It in America as well. Yeah, I th I think at first it was just the UK, but then they all went, and then obviously they uh, came back. our friend Tune has actually had. Um, I bought the crew on Steam, so he can't in da even download it or install it yet, but it had gone from the store, so it's like a bit worrying because you pre-ordered yeah. a game and you're <laughs> going to get it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's back up now. I, I don't know what that was, but it's a bit odd indeed. Okay, should we talk about the season pass and the free updates yeah. and everything? So, uh, if you guys didn't already know, the crew are going to have four car packs. You're going to have an extreme pack, a speed pack, a vintage pack, and a raid pack. That's all going to come with DLC cars. Uh, on top of that, you're going to get um, some stickers, rims, and liveries. 52 rims and 106 liveries, as well as four stickers with the season pass. Um, in wow. addition to this, you're also going to get a, a Ferrari 458 Speciale and a, McLa a McLaren 12C. Um... And then that's just in the season pass alone. Then on top of that, you're going to get free updates. You're going to get 16 new missions um, over the, the, uh, the, the DLC period. You're also going to get some PvP modes, new features, um, and a bunch of much more with the free stuff. Uh, and then tuning access. I'm not sure what this means. It just says tuning yeah, access. That, um, that confused me. You're going to get a 24 I read it out still, but I wasn't sure what it meant. So I, I don't know. They didn't explain tuning it. access. Maybe that's like another like um, DLC season pass thing. I don't know. No, I I was thinking it's probably something to do with um, like the progression in the game because it, it just having an extra season pass would be. But they're gonna add this over time. Yeah, so I'm I'm guessing it's like I don't know tuning access. What what could that be? It could be just be like 
if you bought the game. I don't know. Like <laughs> tuning access. It honestly sounds like. Wait, is this a patch feature? You say? Yeah, they're going to yeah, be adding this over time. Is, is like content they're going to add over time, such as stickers, liveries, in, uh, interiors. Stick, and yeah, five tuning. five new sticker categories, two livery categories, two interior categories, and twenty four additional tuning kits. Hmm. So, I'm I'm thinking that's sort. Of, it's got to be to do with progression. That like you've got to be like a certain way through the game or something. And something else but... I noticed um, on the little like um, graph bar thing I've got here is um, each other bar ends at a certain month. So the season pass is going to end in May 2015. Um, the free updates are going to end in August 2015. However, the events and tuning access are going to carry on past August 2015. Yeah. So I'm not sure well, what to think of that. Actually, the, the um, they say they all end, they all pretty much point to August 2015. But is, is, that, is that when it's going to end, or is it just like pointing to mean it's going to continue after that point? You know, it's, it's a bit, it's not really clear on that. Well, the season pass alone. The season pass literally stops dead, uh, but the, the green lines go, carry on, but there's like mm. arrows that point up to August 2015. It's like. See, what I'm thinking August is yeah. they, could, they could have like season pass number one, then season yeah. pass number two, sort of thing. Because if it is going to be a long lasting game, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Like yeah, I was expecting was... a lot more free DLC to be honest in terms of cars. Um, I I expected a couple of cars for free DLC, yeah, but I can understand why that wouldn't be the case. Uh, I can't really. Would... But, but, well, like if I'm we're... sure cars take a lot longer to make because you have to think you you get I think it's 14 cars in, out of this season pass, which doesn't seem a lot, but then you've got to consider normally with car passes they produce these cars and you buy them but with this you've got 14 cars that have got how many different specs and then you've got different lots and lots oh, of different bumpers and part you know rims and everything that is special to that vehicle so there's a lot of work gone into it um, you, know, you know something that really worries me just looking through the names of the packs you've got the extreme pack speed pack vintage pack and raid pack now tuners aren't going to be in the raid pack definitely not going to be in the vintage pack and they're not going to be in the extreme pack. The only slight, slight doubt I have of them adding tuners is in is in the speed pack. I don't think they're going to add any more tuners in. And there's a real, there's a real lack of uh, Japanese imports in the game. I'm really scared mm. for that. Like, there's mm. what the 370Z and the Skyline, and that's it. R35 as well. And the R35 and. The only chance we really have of getting in a, like another import car is in the speed pack, when really they need to add quite a few in. Like yeah. they're missing the RX-7, and Ma Mazda isn't even uh, licensed at all. So no Maz, no no RX-7, no RX-8, no MX-5, um, no 240SX, no 350Z, no um, Sylvias, no Sylvia S13, yeah, no a no A86s, no nothing. Like there's literally no imports in the game. And the DLC, just from looking at the, the four standard packs, the names don't really shine too much hope upon me, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. Um, and it, and, 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 and really, the main people that wanted this game, the main people that were really, really rooting for it, were the guys back from Underground 2 and Most Wanted 2005. Those are, the, those are really where the hardcore fans come from. Yeah. And... They want their tuners. Like I'm pretty sure you guys want them, want them as well. Like yeah, you don't but... just want the four choices. And really, the R35 that's a supercar, so we can't really count yeah. that. So basically, two tuners. Like that's a joke. Hmm. Mm. It is lacking in in the tuners, but I I don't know. I I don't see it. I see it as an issue, obviously, because it's a car game and it has cars that we want it's no, doing it's doing a drive club but to a lesser extent obviously yeah. drive club is just ridiculous uh the crew isn't the case it's got some but it's nowhere 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 near got enough at all it's a, it's 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 it a, a bit odd it actually annoys me because i, I the, the, when i when i first saw this game i was like wow i can't wait to do it my rx8 again that's not even the fucking game you know like that's such a joke like it, it, imports especially are known for you know people customizing them and stuff and the fact that you can't get an r33 or an rx8 or an rx7 or whatever the tuner of choice may be and do that up it is literally it annoys me so much and the fact i can do a 12c like when would i ever want to do a 12c i'm pretty sure more people would want to do up a rx7 
than a 12C. And there's probably going to be more options for the RX-7. Because you can make that into a dirt car. You can make that into a street car. You can make that into a performance circuit. You can make that into all types of things. Unlike a 12C, which is only going to be a racing car, like a track car. Yeah. I know what you mean, yeah. Rant over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they have... I don't know. It, it might not be a, a thing with them. They, You know, it, it could be anything, really. It could be... Uh, licensing stuff like you, you another know. thing yeah. um I, I remember i can't remember who i think it might have been tuners actually another <laughs> a friend of ours <laughs> um, <laughs> he tweeted hulian saying we need the super in the game uh, and he goes and he he, he kind of hinted at him saying oh they might be coming in dlc in the future or we're going to try implement this into the future no you're not like don't even tease us because i'm looking at the names right here speed pack that when, when i think of speed pack i think of uh m3 Maybe, I don't know, uh, some Ferrari. When I think of Extreme Pack, I'm thinking of a Koenigsegg. I'm thinking of a P1. Um, when I'm thinking of Vintage Pack, I'm thinking of some old Aston Martins. Uh, maybe really? an F40. And then Raid Pack, I'm thinking of like... I I'm thinking old muscle cars for the Vintage. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then Raid Pack, I'm thinking like trucks and shit, <laughs> which I'm not interested in at all. So I, 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 I really don't I'm, know. I'm interested in all of those. I don't know, like, I can understand that people would want lots of cars you know especially tuners because there's a massive lack of them in the game but i, I it's not going to stop me enjoying the game i don't think oh but no it no, is, no it is something that i would like to be in there because... don't, don't get me wrong it's not it's not going to ruin the game it's not going to be a make or break factor but it's very 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 disappointing one thing actually uh someone that sent me the car list of seen cars I, they actually saw the uh selene s7 in there now that get that car right. I've only seen it in I, I can't remember. I think Midnight it was, Club LA. Midnight yeah, Club. I saw it in Midnight Club and I saw it in LA Rush. Those are the only like the arcadey games that I've seen it in. And I have I really love that car from playing uh, playing with it in LA Rush. It was like the fastest car in that game, and I haven't seen it since. But I'm, I'm I actually when I saw it in the list and saw the picture of the car, I was like, oh, I'm really excited to try that. <laughs> um, but that's that's just a kind of small topic. And I, another thing. You know the uh, Spiker C8? I haven't really played around with that except on Drive Club, really. It's it's a really odd car, but that's in there as well. In the oh crew. my god, the, the Spiker's crew, really? in there, but yeah. an RX-8 isn't. Come on, yeah. Ivory. <laughs> Come on, uh, that's a joke. What else have we got? The Mc McLaren F1, McLaren 12C. Uh, the, the Mazda brand is confirmed, but the models are unknown. Are they? Yeah. So if oh. you watch, there's like a trailer, actually, I didn't notice that until now. Uh, there's a trailer that at the end it says uh, Mazda names, emblems, body designs and logos uh, under the approval of Mazda Motor Corporation at the end of the trailer. So they must have something in there. Hmm. I mean, they haven't announced the full car list, but I, they just, just I, all we know so RX far, um, all we know so far, <laughs> you know, through the trailers and through everything else, it looks, um, I'm not very, very hopeful. So. And it's kind of weird how they haven't done what uh, Forza did and kind of revealed cars over time. Because mm -hmm, it yep. seemed like what they did is, here's a bunch of cars that are going to be in the game. Uh, these are some tuning op options you can do to it, like, you know, street uh, street circuit, whatever. Um, and then that was pretty much it. And we saw a couple more cars at E3. And we've kind of had to piece the list together ourselves, which I guess is cool. But I'd rather them kind of show... Uh, more pictures because I've seen them tweeting pictures of some of the cars we already know about. So why not tweet pictures of the cars we don't know about to tease us up until launch? Two okay. cars I'm really looking forward to driving are the um, the old Lambo, the uh, the Murcielago, that yeah. looks sick, and uh, the, the M5. Fun. The first generation one in the crew. It's not the third. I think it's like it's like it's like the third or fourth. Murcielago 2008. It's the LP640. Oh, yeah. yeah, second. And then they've got the Gallardo LP 570-4. Second as well, yeah. And the Aventador LP 704. I don't like the Aventador, <laughs> so... Yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't like that car. Let's get this out of the way. <laughs> and uh, they've also got uh, Miura, which I, I, I'd I say the Miura is my favourite, like, old... Is it the concept or the actual Miura? The actual Miura. It's classic. I, I, I love the Miura. It, it's, it's a car that's old, but it... 
I, I'm not really a massive fan of cars that are really look really dated and old because I hate the Ferrari F40, and now I'm probably gonna get <gasps> assassinated. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get assassinated for saying that. So, I, but I, I move on up, squad. <laughs> Good luck, good luck to you, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I just don't like old looking like supercars. They they just look a bit odd, but the the uh Miura doesn't it hasn't aged. It looks beautiful. The F forty is the sexiest thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, that's like the F forty is like one of the realest Ferraris out there. I remember I, it, I don't like it. The GT five intro, boy. I remember that shit. Oh my god, when it Oh, don't even get me started. I'm just getting I'm getting a boner right now thinking about it. Because <laughs> they, they released the Ferrari car pack for rivals. And I was like, oh, they released two boring old Ferraris. And people were like, how could you say that about the Ferraris? And I'm like, oh, okay. They made some significance then. Because I just don't <laughs> like them. <laughs> but I'm going to get the shot or something. Like, Damn. I'm going to get crucified. Yeah. <laughs> um, but moving on. <laughs> Hashtag um, unsub Theo in the comments. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> one thing I find a bit odd, as well as the car uh, for the car list, the only hypercar. Well, I, I guess there's two technically, but there's only one proper hypercar, which is the LaFerrari. And they've also got a, a Cohen Zegger R, but. I, I don't know. I don't really class those as the same as, as the LaFerrari and the P1. I kind of class those as a field of their own because of how they work and stuff. And maybe the wire goes in there as well, to be honest. <laughs> but I don't know. It, those, the P1, uh, what's it called? The uh, Porsche 918. Obviously, they can't get that because oh, yeah. obvious reasons. <laughs> but I don't know. It, I, I feel as if there aren't enough uh, hypercars. <laughs> oh, you can't be Which serious. Is the first, this is the first time I've actually probably said that in my life. I can't. There aren't enough hypercars. I, I actually want them to add a Bugatti Veyron. <laughs> oh, no, God. please. I want to see what oh, Orbit <laughs> yeah, the, the, the point is, if, if they add a Bugatti Veyron into the game, it's going to be... like it's, it's matched with everything else. It's not going to turn terribly. It's going to, you know, it's going to be fine. So I don't know. I think this is the only game I would actually ask for a Bugatti Veyron. Oh, I just want my three. I just want well, my no, RX-8 back. Just put the normal one in there. Maybe the uh, the one with the convertible roof. I wouldn't mind that. Julian, yeah. I know you're watching this because you watch all of Theo's videos. And I'm saying, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if you don't, add, if you don't add my RX-8, damn son, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> because oh, if you don't add that RX-8, or even the RX-7, or just. The Sylvia, or the 350Z, or any of the... Oh my god, if you don't do this, I'm just going to cry myself to bed every night. <laughs> <sighs> you know, when making a street racing game, it is law to put in the Supra, R34, and RX-7. Those yeah. three legends need to be in the racing you game. You heard it straight here from Martin. <laughs> it's fucking law. <laughs> <laughs> it is the law. Oh, and uh, BMW M3. Thank you. <laughs> Theo... Uh, they've got to add that in. I want to put circuit spec on a BMW I want the M3, newer M3. And you know exactly what I'm going to try and make that look like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With the vinyl letter sound of vinyl marketplace, I'm just saying. Trademark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's... I've actually got some pictures on this post as well, uh, showing the cars... With their, you know, on the, the table you see with all the uh, street dirt, performance raid, that sort of thing. Yeah. It shows some of them. And the, Mer the Mercer Lago uh, has... Performance and circuit only. The Fiverr only has performance. Uh, the you know the Aston that we drove in in the beta that yeah. only has performance. Oh, so we actually weird. we actually drove the only. Uh... Yeah, the only po well, and full stop. Why would why is that have circuit? And the Koenigsegg that's only performance. Um, the Bentley Continental Super Sports, which I'm never gonna drive, <laughs> performance and circuit only. Oh, that's, why is that circuit and not the? Why going to... do you waste your time doing it on a Bentley? <laughs> <laughs> like you know who drives Bentleys? Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent's <laughs> not playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> and the LaFerrari and... has performance spec. It's like why in those circuit spec as well? Because those would, would fit. It's a bit weird. Yeah. But then you've got the R34 that has everything. Happy about that. Can't wait yeah. to see a raid spec. Uh, I, I just want a, a circuit spec or a performance. Oh, oh I'm in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I, I like that all the muscle cars and like the lower end cars go to everything. The I, um, I tell you what, one thing Forza Horizon Two would as well is its car choice. I'll tell you that right now. Mm. Uh, I, 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 Horizon Two didn't last as long as I thought it was going to last for me. But I tell you what, their car choice is damn bloody good. They've got the tuners, they've got the hype cars. Everything is so well balanced in that game. Yeah, yeah. It, they they do have the list sorted out. Unlike Gran Turismo, which is its main competitor. Which has about a hundred different R thirty fives. Well, well, even <laughs> even like Horizon, like yeah. that. I I thought they did a smacking job. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's the crew. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> half the podcast gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's actually been about thirty minutes. So we should uh, move on to another topic, which is probably could also be long. Uh, Drive Club. Probably talk about that. Yeah. So for anyone that actually wants to return Drive Club, you can. Just wanted to talk about that because. It's it's been has it been a month now? I think it's been a month. It's been over a month, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, but it's it's been quite a damn long time since the game came out now, and it's still not running a hundred percent. Which is one reason as to why I haven't done a review yet, because I want to review the final game. <laughs> but the final game is still not here. They've turned challenges on, which is one step closer to it and those don't work they display times and uh of like impossible to get it's like oh this person did this corner in a second oh yeah of course they did and this person drove in this section at three thousand miles an hour okay <laughs> yeah i can beat that and then there's <laughs> supposed to be another challenge bit that you can go on and it's got just that part of the challenge that you can keep redoing which is disabled and the app is disabled so I can't spectate my friend. It's just still slow, and it's getting there. I hope it really, really does, because it could honestly be... It's going to have a much smaller audience now that the fact that people that bought the game can now return it, and the fact that the game is still broken about a month after launch. But I think once it settles and it's all working fine, I think it will have a really good community that kind of plan all these uh, events together with the app and and that sort of thing. And obviously, they've got the free players coming in when they release that as well, which is... This is the first I'm... game I've actually seen that has broken a law. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, can't, I think about that. Like, there's no other game I can think of off the top of my head besides Manhunt, which has broken a law. You know, I remember SimCity really was fair. broken for a while. Oh, yeah. With EA, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and Battlefield. Yeah. And Need Speed. Good. <laughs> but that, but they didn't the break obvious. laws. They were just shit games. <laughs> like, they released the game broken. Didn't have any intention of fixing it. That's my main problem with it. I, I saw a quote somewhere. Um, it, it was like uh, a delayed game will once be good. However, a rush game will always be crap. <laughs> that that was the, yeah. the quote, and that still reigns true today. They had a, a year, and it's still broken. I don't mm. understand. It's not even that. It's just the servers and. It's just buggy. It's just no, really, it's not that. really buggy. It's also their ten year concept. Exactly. Like the the whole concept of this game was to be uh, I can be on the bus on my way to work. Oh, my, my club is doing an event tonight. I accept the event. All right. Um, we'll get home, do the race, you know. <laughs> and then, 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 then you see the crew <laughs> you see the crew in your games list, you think, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it, it's supposed to be a really like it, it's for everyone yeah they've got the free version if you're not really uh, into racing games like we are and we, we picked it up kind of thing um you pick up the free version because it's there uh you'd you know play with your friends that have the full game and see if you like it and it's kind of got the handle it's probably got the best handling model when it comes to the sense of it being very easy to pick up and kind of like the hard to master thing i've heard that so many times and it's always utter bollocks until i played this game because <laughs> Like, when you hit a wall, the way they've done it is because it's a really simple way of doing it. But when you hit a wall, it doesn't slow you down, dram uh, like, drastically. I always said dramatically. I don't know why I keep trying to say dramatically, because that's <laughs> not a word. But um, uh, it kind of, like, it doesn't slow you down. And if people kind of cut corners, it penalizes them to, you know, put them back in the pack. And it's kind of a very balanced game. But if they got it right at launch, then maybe. But... Am I the only one that thinks Drive Club feels really or in inorganic? Inorganic? Mm -hmm. By that I mean the cars feel like they don't feel like in real life at oh, all. Oh, oh definitely. You, but that's because you play in third person. <laughs> no, I've, no, I play in, but I've played in both a lot, 
I haven't touched that game in a long time because it. Like, I. Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, you go if you want. All right, all right. So, I I played a lot of the game at, at launch because you know I said I'm having much more fun than I did with Horizon Two because the gameplay is just really really intense when you play in the cockpit view, like. It's it just when you get towards the end with the Hennessy Venom, I had to do like literally 30, 40 laps to get that bloody time. It was impossible, <laughs> but it was a lot of damn fun to do it. I never got to the point where this is really annoying. I hate this game. Mm. But now that I've actually just added on to my experience, I got a wheel recently, if you've seen my videos. Uh, I've, I had to go on it last night of Drive Club. And at first it's like, it, it's kind of weird because I've been using the controller for so long and you're not used to the car literally pulling you with the wheel in, into the direction it's actually going and you've got to fight against that. It just adds to that intense feeling once again. <laughs> I was trying to commentate on a video for like my first drive with it and I kept getting out of breath because, I kept, <laughs> because the wheel kept pulling me to the side. And See, yo, you need to go for some runs or something, man. Jeez, you're no, sitting down me. moving a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it is honestly like a workout because you're trying to sp this wheel is a 1080 degree wheel so like as soon as the car spins it's spinning around like crazy and it's it, it is honestly the most intense racing game and I, it adds another layer which i'll probably talk about in, in my review but drive club got driving right and it's a shame that it didn't get anything else right yeah. because it would have been a, a solid game for you know being the game to go on like when you organize uh, online club races on the app and that sort of thing, because I was actually talking about that on my forum um, in where I was saying how I'd like kind of a dashboard like that for the next need for speed or something. Like you can organize a, a street race with, you know, club mates or something uh, to, to happen and it being open world, you meet up there. I know it's like kind of overcomplicated and stuff, but I want something like that or close to it. And if it, if drive club got this right, I know it's a track racer, but it, it would have still been, a really good experience that would have lasted a while. This would but have been the Gran Turismo the killer. Then, that's what I was thinking because Gran Turismo, it has, it has, I don't know. Gran Turismo just seems it's it's it, it, it's it's not on the top of the ladder anymore. No, yeah. it it sells right. It sells well still. I'm I actually uh, it's outsold. I think I think it sold five six million. I that think was super good. So also sold two. It is, it is on top. It's because, uh, obviously, I think I had the advantage of launching on last gen, obviously, because these two new games, well, three new games now, because Forza comes out every year, mm. uh, they have only had the small amount of people on the, the new gen. But I think if Gran Turismo launched on next gen now, it would have serious competition when uh, if Drive Club launched very well. And, uh, you know, Obviously, they've got Forza coming out the same year, so that's going to be interesting, actually. I really, really hope Gran Turismo just brings the smack down. I really do. <laughs> like Anyway, I think Drive Club, what it does is show us what Gran Turismo should do. Not go, like, full arcade, that's not what I mean. But, I mean, it needs to make the driving more fun because, like, people were saying they snored at the wheel on, on Drive Club. I could not because if I did, I would crash and lose the race. But on Gran Turismo, it's just like, driving in a straight line, listening to a vacuum cleaner, trying its hardest to get the down soundtrack the soundtrack was good. And the, and the, the AI following good. like this exact same line and never trying to fight for your position and the bumps of going <laughs> boof, boof, <laughs> every that's that's all Gran Turismo is. And just hearing a, a vacuum it, yeah, it, it's boring. And if, I... if they had an overhaul of what it is, you know, removed all the one hundred R thirty fives and just made the new model and threw that in there uh, of, of all the cars because of probably like 300 MX-5s, simplified everything, you know, made it more user-friendly, made an app to organize events and that sort of thing in a club like you do with Drive Club. That That's sorted. Martin, like, you go first because I've got a really long reply to this. <laughs> well, I was going to say I mostly disagree on what Theo said. Personally, I absolutely love Gran Turismo. I've been playing it since Gran Turismo 2 and the only one I got after that was 5. But... With 6, the reason I skipped that is because I felt it should have been on PS4. But anyways, Gran Turismo, the only problem I have with it is kind of like, it doesn't capture the feeling that Forza has. Like, presentation-wise, you know, it went more in-depth with Top Gear and Jeremy Clarkson and all that. Gran Turismo does not have that. The only thing I hate is, like Theo said, the vacuum noises and... Yeah. You guys are missing one huge thing right now. Premium and standard cars. Oh, 
Oh, they need to get rid of that. They need to get rid of that. In fact, I've already mentioned this in one of my videos before. R34, standard. Then, well, I, R34, I premium. <laughs> I don't get that. That's what I mean. Wait, like, wait, they've wait. got both. Oh. Why? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Which one's standard and premium? Well, they're both, they're both in the game. Like, there's, there's literally two. There's one Skyline which is um, standard, one Skyline which is premium. That's what I mean. They've got like 200 MX5s. There's about 100 that are standard and about 5, you know, 5 billion that are premium. So I don't, I don't even mind that. Ones? I don't even mind why that. You've you got the standard ones, though. You can have 100 the in there. You can have 100 in there. But when it's the 1994 model and then, like, the 1994 mid-year model, yeah, get that shit out. I mean. Like, they've got... How many different versions of the R, uh, the, you know, the, the R35, right? They're exactly the same. The only difference is they come in a different color. And, and a body one's kit. standard and one's premium. And, uh, no, no, not even that. Some of them literally are just a different color. And they sell The them black there. edition. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just confuses me because why? I'm scrolling through this menu trying to de decide, hmm, which would be better for this type of car? Wait, I'm going to compare all these stats of these cars. Go through all of them. Oh, wait, they're all identical, except this one doesn't have a cockpit over here. And these 50 other cars are exactly the same. I've got to decide because, you know, the color, I can get the color. And it, it's just, yeah. they, they've, they've kind of, they've just been adding in and adding in and adding in, not taking out the old rubbish. And that's what I think Forza did well. Even though people complained, oh, there's only a few tracks, there's only like less cars in the last game. The reason for that is because they just started from scratch. They scanned the tracks and remade the cars for that console rather than being, oh, let's just bring the PS2 cars onto the PS4 like they are with Gran Turismo 7. You know, it's, it's just, it's kind of annoying. I hope me, like... that Gran Turismo doesn't become the next Need for Speed and just neglects its fans and then ends up selling like 2 million. Better not. The thing is though, I, I don't even if they did, I think people would still buy it and, and you know, because it has the name and it's really the only proper simulator on consoles. Like Forza is a simulator technically, but it, it doesn't feel like a simulator at all. It, it feels very arcade tapped because it's a little bit more fun and Gran Turismo just is that simulator on PlayStation on a console. And they need, they need to work on the camera as well. Yeah. Um, body kit customization, livery customization, yep. Yep. Um, rim customization. All I'm saying, uh, Julian, if you're watching this, you can change the size of you of your wheels on Gran Turismo. Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and you, you, you literally, you, the, when the game that has three types of, of uh, skylines, a black edition, a normal edition, and then like an economy edition. Way more than that. You've got Probably. the Mines version, the, 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 the Nismo version. It should have a Black section Street. just for the Skyline. So yeah. like, I, it... Skyline submenu. <laughs> yeah. In the, you're on Nissan and then you go onto that car. And here's a thousand of that car. Here you go. It's but one. even then, the fact that I can change my rim size on that game, yeah, that's saying something. Like, I'm just saying, the crew, you, it's just, I'm just saying. And they all sound like vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Apparently they're sorting out the sounds. I hope so. I read well, somewhere that... What are they going to do? Are they going to add the sound to the sound? They'll be like, oh no, all cars that were in Gran Turismo 6 are going to have the vacuum sound. No, they got a new sound but, guy. But the new ones that we add in and make for the PS4, about five, they'll have new sounds that are very nice. Though I, w <laughs> I must say, there are a few cars on Gran Turismo that sound so much better and so much more to, uh, real than they do in Forza. The LFA is one of them. The LFA sounds almost spot on in Gran Turismo. It doesn't in Forza. And the uh, Mazda's... I can't remember the name of it. MX-5 RX-8 RX-7. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's the race one. The the orange one. Um, Is it the Fura by any chance? It's the 7B something. I can't remember. Oh, okay. oh I know the one you're on about. The touring That's car. The mall yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is spot on sound-wise. In Grand Tur um, sorry, in Forza, they made it sound like an F1 car. And it's like... <laughs> I will well, say one thing that they did really perfect in, in Gran Turismo 6, and that was the soundtrack. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, ra they get random songs from, like, random Japanese people, and yeah, it's just and amazing. Sound, <laughs> you just kind of look... Uh, GT5 uh, had some really weird menu music, but you know, at first you're like, that's a bit weird, but then you kind of just start find yourself, like, singing along to it yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... 
It's really addictive music, but this yeah. A oh, pep oh. I have to take. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad I don't know that song, but it's anyway, not at the same time. <laughs> we should actually talk about car damage because that could yeah. be related to this as well. Yeah. Um, car damage in in games. Uh, Martin just yes. decided to bring up this topic. So, do you want to go first on this? Yeah, I do. Okay. So, car damage. Personally, I really don't care too much about it. Now, of course, people need to understand that there's cosmetic damage and more of mechanical damage. Mm. And a game that has both is usually a simulator. Now, Gran Turismo tends to have more of the me- mechanical damage, but they don't really bother with the physical. In terms of cosmetic damage, I really don't care too much because in most games, it just repairs the car in a kind of arcade manner, like driving through a garage. And yeah, it's just, I don't really care too much about in, it. In the cruise case, the car actually regens. That's just something I'm side note. Oh. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute because it actually changed the the damage model, so it's it's a bit odd. Um, do, should I say it now? Or do, do you no, ca- Martin, carry on, carry on. <laughs> I mean, like in terms of seeing actual next gen damage, where candles, like say if we get another burnout game, if we get amazing cosmetic damage, I would love that. But in other games such as Need for Speed, we are not getting much. Mm. And I think that's it, really. All right, um, yeah, I, I'm the same. Like, I don't really mind damage. It's not a major thing to me. But I've actually saw like when people got the PC beta, I actually follow quite a few people from uh, from like this really horrible gaming group, um, gaming battlegrounds. I, yeah, I've, I've just... <laughs> it's just, it's full of like people that are, are kind of a bit slow sometimes. So. You know, it, it's like they they are really into their damage and stuff. Like they're, they're the people that not really pick, don't really pick up races very much, I say, and they play COD and that's about it. But damage to, to those type of people seems to be something that they really, really need in a racing game or something. It's like one of the main complaints I saw from people was saying how the damage wasn't very good in the crew. And I'm like, yeah, what? Like... The car scuffs up a bit. You can have, you know, the car starts making more noises when it's damaged. You can crash it out if you go head on into a wall. What What do you want? Like, do, do you want it to crumple in like it does on GTA? Um, GTA isn't even that good, to be honest. But, you know, I, I'm not, myself, I'm not really bothered about damage. Um, I, I can do without it in most videos on on forza for example i turn the damage off because if i'm showing a car i'm not i don't want it to be damaged and stuff because i'm not gonna gonna, you know see the car in how it should be Mm. um but i think obviously with simulators it needs to have the uh damage in where your steering gets damaged uh your engine gets damaged that sort of thing can i say um one last Am I the only person that actually prefers having like most wanted 2005 damage where the car literally is like a car, like a toy? Like a block. <laughs> like, am I literally <laughs> yeah. the only person that likes that? Um, I don't remember damage in most wanted 2005. To be like, the, the, much... the door got like a bit scuffed and that was it. Like, yeah, there's and a little, the window like... smashed. Yeah. And that was, that, yeah, that was it. Because there's no in, in, even in, smashed, in correct. Interviews, but... because yeah, especially, for, especially for something like in the crew, like having something like that where it's not too extreme would kind of show off your car a bit more and kind of like, yeah. I don't know. I, th- I I I really like that. I don't know whether I'm on my own here. For like Grand Turismo and stuff, I kind of expect a bit more damage, like actual like cosmetic damage. Yeah. Um, but for like arcade games, I actually don't mind it because I kind of like looking at my car in arcade games and having it all smashed up, like in Rivals. Like in Rivals, by the time you get back to your garage, that wasn't a car anymore. <laughs> that was just four wheels. Yeah. <laughs> like, I I like having the car literally looking like a like a toy. I, I like that, but um, I think I'm on my own here, to be honest. Mm-hmm. No, like I, I, I don't mind damage, but I, it's not something I look for. Like I don't go, oh, that car, no, that's no, got no. nice damage. I like that game. The the only games that I've looked into because the damage looks pretty cool, like one of, being one of the things, is obviously the uh, wreck fest. That that kind of sold me on on the damage thing because that game is about smashing cars up, you know, but. In Gran Turismo, in Need for Speed, in Forza, in The Crew, Midnight Club, anything damage to me, I don't care. Um, I think Midnight Club did it well, actually. I need fair. Uh, but I mean, yeah, that was alright. I think Forza probably is one of the the best ones because not because it is that not the damage is good. The damage is okay. It's not brilliant, but 
it's good because I can turn it off. Yeah. And I can, if I want to, I can mm. put the damage on him where my car slows down a bit or I turn to the side a bit, which I think is actually a bit weird because if my car gets damaged in a race online and I've got that on, so when I get damaged, I slow down, nobody else has got that on. Why is that, how is that fair? I don't understand. Cause but, you get more exp- XP, don't you? That's how it works. I know, but that's a, you, you'd expect a bit more than that if you just you you mm, kind of wasn't penalizing really yourself and, and yeah. You come first, so, but the guy behind you is drifting more, so he gets more XP and wins. No, <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't work. But yeah, that damage to me is, is not a major thing. Um, let's say it's in let's say Underground Three, right? It is the next Need for Speed, and they they I don't know. W- would you want them to? talk about damage or what damage would you want them to be in well obviously no no mechanical I mean, damage like, no way i mean yeah exactly definitely not but like a swinging bumper cracked window all enough yeah. mirrors that's fine to be honest i wouldn't mind some form of mechanical damage if it reset after races no i, I wouldn't want it no way no, no way in hell. I, I only say that because it would be a way to stop people ramming i guess <laughs> i don't know like, I guess that's a good way to put it because everybody knows that in Need for Speed, it's usually about recently tapping someone as as soon as you get the chance to, and they'll go flying into a wall. That'll kind of be like, yeah, if I do that, I'm gonna bugger my the race for myself. So should I do this? I, I guess it adds that thought into it, and it'll stop people doing that. I don't know. Maybe it could be an option at least. I'm not I a big fan. Sort it out with just the handling. Yeah. Like in Underground, yeah. if you try to do that, it won't work. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't like, know. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind it being there. Basically, if it was an option, if it's there, co- no, co- constantly. I no, then I don't. But if it's optional, then yeah, I, I wouldn't mind that. It, it doesn't fit Need for Speed, in my opinion. Like some games have certain characteristics. Um, Call of Duty, that's always fast paced. Uh, Forza, that always has that like that special arcade handling. <clears throat> Sorry, that sort of. Um, and then Need Speed. It, it just it doesn't have mechanical damage it never has i don't think it belongs in need for speed but that that again is just my opinion like if 100 percent agree yeah mm. but, um, but i think the biggest culprit is gt gran turismo needs to have especially with seven like amazing cosmetic damage because in gt5 at least you crash your car you need to do it at least a hundred times just to get a bit of squidgy yeah. damage on the car and it was the like same cards. impact noise over and it was so hollow and it's just, it's just I, I, I don't think like GT especially has really stepped up their game since GT4. No, like no. I've done a, an insane somersault in a car, and the car is just a little squidgy blob of <laughs> like there's no yeah. damage on it. I One thing you have to, to praise Drive Club for is when a car flips, that is game over. Yeah, like yeah. that. That is honestly, it feels as it should. It, it flips how it should. It, like they've got the weight right and the gravity right and everything. It feels like that. But if they can do it in an arcade game and get it close to realism in Gran Turismo, why am I just like rolling on my shell? And it's just like, <laughs> it's it's a bit weird. It is oh, very weird. Even, but the camera stuck to the car, so you're getting dizzy. Oh, oh so I, the the camera on Gran Turismo is my most hated thing because it's just stuck there and it's not shaking on bumps in the road or it's just boring <laughs> i don't i don't hate it like you guys um i don't mind it like i i i, I guess i kind of like it in a way but i would like to see an action camera in there to be that's, honest yeah that's why i find arcade games one of the main reasons i find arcade games more fun and i find forza better than Gran Turismo in the sense of the camera because forza actually when you hit, get hit by something the car's sliding slightly and the camera slowly follows rather than being instant snap whereas you know gran turismo you spin out the camera is just going to li- literally stay locked to the back of the car it's going to look weird and when you're drifting it's it's locked to the back of the car and it's really weird and there should be an I, option to another cam- for another camera in there i'll tell you one thing that i really do respect gt4 is they add dlc of course they add dlc Oh, yeah, they had the free uh, vision cars. Yeah, they, they had those in. And there's more cars in the actual start game than DLC. I, I, I respect him so, so much yeah. for that. When I was going through Forts 5, because I only got that really late when I got my Xbox One, oh. half, half of everything was DLC. I'm not going to yeah. buy this shit. The game's dead. Um, it, it's £40 for the car pass as well. Exactly. 40 On this DLC, it's a joke. There's probably more cars on that disc I don't know about. Yeah. Um, but then you go to Gran Turismo... 
and there's literally in that case, so there might be ten or twenty skylines, but there's literally thousands and so the card choice is amazing, like standard or premium, it doesn't matter. There is so many cars to pick from, and yeah. I, I respect GT so much for yeah. that. Like the if fact they haven't sold out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right. if, there's definitely there's literally cars for everyone. There's tuners, there's uh, hype cars, there's you know German hatchbacks, there's everything. Mm. Like yeah, in GT5, that, that is... it's literally a trophy to buy 1,000 cars, and I was gonna do it. I'm on like 500 cars now. I, like, <laughs> I can't do it. Give up. Yeah, the. That is one thing you've got to praise them for. But I don't know at the same time, because at the same time as that, they've got about 50 to 100, like literally probably about 50 MX-5s. And most are irrelevant because they have the uh, the premium version of that exact same year. And it's like, why? It is annoying, but uh, to be honest, like just because c- of the, Im- the amount of cars that are on offer... I don't mind looking through them. I, I I don't think I mind as much as you do. I think the fact that there is literally like uh, probably two thousand, five thousand. Okay, that's a big difference. <laughs> Considering <laughs> there's like thousands of cars on on offer, I I don't mind for any of this. I I I, I actually really do respect the guys at P- um, Polyphony for doing that because like just seeing everyone, you know, that that they're, they're all adding on this DLC and they're all doing this. If, I'm pretty sure they, they will add it into the next game, but the fact they haven't done it to, to this point, that makes me really happy, actually. One thing, actually. GT5, I believe, had DLC. It does. Terrible it does, deal. yeah, yeah. GT6 it does. does not. I as, never as thought as of that. As I have to buy the Aventador as DLC in GT5, and I haven't done that yeah. as DLC. There is literally DLC in GT5 and not in GT6. Are they that, not doing DLC anymore? Hallelujah! Uh, that, <laughs> that, I swear they've that got is, uh, microtransactions. Yeah, yeah, they've got microtransactions. Why. So that's that's not bad actually. I'm not because I that's, where that. the, that's where the the new cars they're adding are coming from. So I I actually really like that model. Now that I've actually just realised that, that's how it should be. Whereas in Forza they did the opposite and they had they had DLC already and they thought you know let's have microtransactions. That's microtransactions. I, gen- I genuinely DLC. think that's Microsoft. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is Microsoft. But I mean, I mean, I actually didn't realize that. How have I not realized that? That is that is okay. That's that's good. That's Sony good. for the gamers. <laughs> Start the fan wars. <laughs> turn ten are the developers, right? Yeah. yeah. Forza. Did they even do like a complete edition or anything? Nope. They had nope. a Top Gear edition, which came with one DLC pack. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, all of the DLC packs were out. They, um, they, ne- they never did a Horizon, uh, the original Horizon. Sorry, uh, sorry, no. It was Racing Game of the Year edition, not Top Gear edition, and it had the one Top Gear pack. <laughs> oh. and, they, and they never made a Forza 4 one. They never made a Horizon 1 uh, like a full game expansion pack thing. The main reason I did that is to shift a bit more. It's like, it's like when games come on PlayStation Plus. That's when they're at the end of their life cycle and they just want the last bursts of money to come in. Um because, I mean, they released Rivals. It's like, yeah, right, Need for Speed still exists. And they made, like, a trailer, of the, the really low-budget trailer of cutting up old trailers. To I could do that. I it. could yeah. do that. <laughs> and, and, and selling the game. I'm and pretty sure like... me and Theo could make a better trailer than yeah. that. Like, that was shit. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It... I, I hope just GT7 is, like, has some of the social features that I, I spoke about. Like, maybe an app. They have an app for the, or the car list, but I mean, maybe having a club where you can post on a, a club board and say, I'm hey, not we're really bothered a, about a, any of the app stuff. Oh, I, 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 I would like that because you, you po- you're in a club, for example, and you say, right, we're having a, a, a drag session tonight at whatever time. You know, you can accept that invitation, you, you go on your game and, you know, it's, it's just a, a nice way to organize it. It's all it kind all. of a gimmick, really. I no, use I it. Cool. it Imagine, um... Yeah on the bus on your way home and you just buy a lamborghini from the store and then you get home and it's just on your console like i do yeah. use the playstation and uh, is it microsoft like oh, what's the actual name called smart glass smart glass that's the name Excellent. i use i actually do use them i do like wh- whenever i get a message i usually reply now because it's so m- easy to reply on my phone but having like a gt dedicated app like i've seen the destiny one that shit is getting uninstalled right now <laughs> like that is the worst thing ever like I, I've, I've got all these types of other apps for separate games, I never use them. Like I don't ever. Know, like 
for example, if there was a GTA one, I would use that. You know, if there were like there is were a GTA to... one. I don't... Oh yeah, but it's it's got it, to, it's it's to do with a single player and stuff. It, 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 um, it has no relevance. Oh, it has online stuff. It's like your your garage or whatever. But I mean, if it had say in Gran Turismo or as in Drive Club, once it actually works to see your club's progress, you can actually spectate your friends' races from the app on uh, Drive Club once that actually works. You know, just little things like this. I, I wouldn't mind that in, in Gran Turismo because I, Gran Turismo has the advantage of being like a, a sim racer, which if you converted it to, to more fun, I guess, then, it, you know, you've got the app and it just has everything. It's the racing simulator game then. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's like it has what you, you would want. So I don't know. I, I think it would be good. You know what, you know what I'd it. really like with the phone app? is if they added a second screen. So on my phone, I could look at the whole track and I could look at where everyone was on the track or maybe um, I can. that's my rear view mirror and I can see everyone behind me or something across yeah. those lines. It's just these little things. It's, it's, it could be done for, you know, used for anything. It's, it's just yeah, like... I think it would be pretty cool. They're actually using it and, you know, taking full advantage of the software and the hardware. It's that, that's the only problem, really. Because other than that, what next-gen thing can they do with Gran Turismo? Um... They can do the make drive it look, tasks, make it look maybe? Prettier. No, that's not really next gen. That's just yeah, it's not. It's kind of a scam, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they can they can pretend. <laughs> I mean, I'd be pretty happy if they pretended. Um, I yeah. actually don't know, to be honest. Does GT6 have V spec mode? It's where you let your driver yeah, it does. Drive. Yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, that that would work on the app. I think it does. I don't it? think it did. No. But let me Google this. They've removed it. Really? Um, yeah. Mode six. That's so one thing, actually. With nope, the... it's been added in an update. Oh, okay. So with GT5, I remember you had to put, you have your console on uh, on this on this option to leave it on. You know, you'd, come, you'd wake up, you you turn your console on, you go on the game, you press on uh, this uh, B spec thing, and you have to go on the Gran Turismo website from where you were and say, "Oh, do this race," and you wouldn't get any like visual aid you know, to tell how much progress you've done. It's like, oh, you, this, is, this is how many laps you've done. Congratulations, your racer has done it. You know, you, you didn't get an idea if he's going to crash or anything. So if they did that, you see on a phone, like even if it's just like a little, you know, digital car that stays there, and if he crashes, it comes up with an icon or something. You know, just something like that. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm a tad bit confused. It said it was on the actual GT6 website, but there's people on forums saying it's not, so I've not got a clue anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it um, probably isn't. I, it, I don't know. It, it might or might not be. I don't really know. It, it was a cool feature. Um, yeah. And it would be cool if I could spectate, as I said, if I had, uh, had organized a club in Gran Turismo and see how they were doing in the latest event that I couldn't take part in on my phone. You know, that would be pretty cool. I'd see, like, where we are on the leaderboard. Just little things. Not Nothing major. Even if it's just, like, a leaderboard and you can post saying, we're having this meet-up tonight. 6 p.m. Join me. Yeah, I, I, I just hope generally Gran Turismo. I, I just hope Gran Turismo 7. It just steps up to a, a whole new level. I hope it's the next GT4. That's all I want. Actually, yeah. Um, and and that will obviously revive the series and actually bring some new light to it because the, the way it's heading right now, it's Need for Speed. It's it's literally where Need for Speed was at the start of um, Black Box. The Black Box decline. So mm. we'll have to see how it goes, but I, I have faith in GT7. And one thing I really need. A community manager, please. And they lobbies. Have, they have oh, no, no voice. Like they have no voice with with us. Like what what are they doing? They set up a website. Oh, we're working on sounds. Full stop. Okay. <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, it's gonna be an update for GT Seven. I'm like, it's nothing like uh, how um, Playground Games and how yeah. Uh, Whereas every other studio, Ivory like, Tower are actually interacting like even. The need for speed right as little as they're talking about now they're still up you know they're still posting things about need for speed related they sent know, me an e they replied to an email of mine like, yeah. <laughs> that's so all they, i'm saying i got free Turismo, shit from great from ghosts and that 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 right there proves that they're, they're trying to interact at least you kind of just need to relate something to a person you know talk to a person and there's no person there for gran turismo it's i know they're robot. japanese but <laughs> You know, there's got to be someone that can speak English there, or a slight English. Or... It's quite literally, you, they are a robot. Like, there's no <laughs> other way of going around it. Like, I mean, there's Hugh and Garrity, there's Anna Bodil, there's... Um, oh, who's the Horizon 2 developer? Ralph uh, Fulton. Yeah, that's the one I was going to um, say, yeah. 
you know, all types of developers. There's uh, Fergus, who's making the crew as well. Mainly the crew people there, because those are the main people I know. <laughs> but, yeah. um, you know, all these people that they're, they're contacting. There's um, um, James Malt from Ghosts. They're all talking. But, like, even the guys, the, I think, what's his name? NFS Drew. He talked to me, and he doesn't even make games anymore. <laughs> but... Um, I don't know where any of the Gran Turismo developers are, to be honest. Like, yeah. they're just dead. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I know the guy that I assigned, like, I can't remember his name. Uh, the, the guy that I assigned with Gran Turismo, I know his face, but I can't talk to him because yeah. yeah, he doesn't, I don't even think he has Twitter or he doesn't speak English. I don't think he speaks English. He doesn't because I, I, every time I see him on the YouTube channel, he's always speaking Japanese with subtitles. So. <laughs> Well, you need to learn English firstly. <laughs> like, that's the main demographic here. You need to start learning English. Or uh, just get someone that can, you know. Yeah, or get, or get someone to get you, uh, like, a really good, like, upgraded Twitter account where all your Japanese converts into English <laughs> and you tweet it. That's what we need. But yeah. Um, Do you want to talk about your uh, car meets first? Before oh, yeah, we end? Before we, yeah, before we end. Because so, I have nothing to say here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, GTA Online is coming out. Yeah, it's... It's gonna be awesome. No, uh, it's gonna dude. be. <laughs> it's coming out on the 18th, and the weekend before, I'm actually gonna have my final car meet on GTA on PS3, just to say farewell. Um, me and my friend were driving around earlier, and I found this really, really cool place. It's kind of like an industrial site. I've put some some pictures on Twitter, and there's literally 30 car slots right near each other which is the perfect amount. And there's two extra ones a bit further away. But that was really cool. I found that. So it's like exactly the amount of people that can join GTA Online. So car meets, probably going to do a weekly thing. Um, so if you want to join those, then join the crew. I've always had the crew link in my description. I've never removed that, even when I stopped playing GTA for like two months. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, if you want to join them, join the, the uh, crew. I was going to say club. And then follow me on twitter and I'll, I'll tweet about that and that sort of stuff but yeah that's that's gonna be cool <laughs> so is that is that wrapping up the episode yeah i think yeah, that's that's pretty much okay it. then so if you guys enjoyed make sure to hit the like subscribe to all our channels links will be in the description below and uh, i guess we all hoped you enjoyed this episode of upspeed and we'll see you next time peace god end of